All right, friends, this is Donnie. And Sandra. And we are coming to you from Cross Country Campground in Lincoln County. Lincoln County. And so if you want to, for those of you that don't know, Sandra and I are trying to stay in all 100 counties in North Carolina. And at the recording of this video, this is the 45th county that we've been in. And so be sure to look for the fun facts and the ghost stories and urban legends that we share in each county if we can find one. But this is the outside of what it looks like. Um, and we are in site, uh, was it 24? It's 24. 24. 24. And this is, this is a full hookup site. And um, this is an enormous campground. But that's the site out of the dinette. And... This is the other side, and so we actually have somebody with a, uh, it's a Class A, and it's a Flamingo, a Flamingo, um, uh, I guess it's some, what do you call it, a wrap yeah. on the side of it, yeah. and so, but at any rate, um, this is, this is really, um, it's been a pleasant. Yeah. This uh, campground is so large, there's so many sections of it. It's like yeah. a campground within a campground within a campground. So what we're going to do, guys, is you're going to see pictures and, and videos overlaying as we are talking. And so, um, but this right here is a map of the campground. And so we came in, and this right here, this is a pretty secure uh, location. Uh, you come in at the entrance here. And right in this area right here, you got the office they have to check in at. Right here, though, they have a gate. Mm -hmm. And you're not coming in. Nope. You're not coming in and get, unless this thing opens up. Um, and so what they do is they give you a card. They give you a card, and you have to use it to scan in. You use that card to scan in, and the gate will open up automatically. And then from there, you'll go to your site. Um, this place is guys we took a walk mm -hmm. today and this place is just enormous they got by the count that i saw on here it looks like that they got a little over 400 sites 400 sites in the location and so but um again uh it, we walked 2.3 miles when okay 2.3 miles mm -hmm. and um now as far as rates it cost us 48 dollars a night at the time of this recording it cost us 48 dollars a night it was like 96 dollars for two nights and uh but as far as a monthly rate you do have to call them up and they will give you the rate if for those of you that want to do the uh, monthlies now they do have they have a lot of monthlies here a lot of permanent sites there's uh yeah there's a lot of people here that are either seasonal or permanent sites and she was telling us the young lady at the office was telling us that some of these folks really go all out um on decorating their little spot and so um really nice spots uh i will say that um uh, if you come over, where is it? Where's that one area that we saw? Here it is. Here it is. This area right here, this is going to be around the 112, 113. There is a really steep grade, downward grade. This is Carolina Avenue. This is the area I'm talking about. You're going to, if you come this way, it gets extremely steep here and it gets extremely steep here. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, do not come down the Louisiana Avenue and attempt to make a right-handed turn. I would go Carolina Avenue. They do allow you to come this way. Come Carolina Avenue and come down this way because it gets extremely steep there. If you'll notice on the screen, this is what it looks like. It is really, really steep. And Multiple if, people have scraped. And you all, well, yeah, let me, I'll get to that in just a second. But what I'm saying is, if you have a really long uh, motorhome or RV travel trailer, you run the, ch the chance on scraping. If you'll notice on the screen there, I'm pointing out and showing the scrapes that people have. Now, some of these people have recently scraped. And uh, the the sediment or the or the asphalt is still laying um, right there where the scrape is, and so these are some pretty deep scrapes. And so what really gets me are those people, those RVers that think I'm making a big deal or or I'm over exaggerating 
um, that type of, um, of, of chance on scraping and stuff. Let me tell you, you can tear up your unit. If you think you're, uh, if you're over and beyond scraping, go ahead and take that chance. And so I've talked to owners of campgrounds that tried to talk to people um, when they were talking about some of their areas that were extremely steep and asked for assistance. And people ripped out the back of their uh, motorhome, ripped bumpers off and just tore the far out of their units all because they didn't listen. And so I'm going to tell you right now, look at the screen there and you'll see where people have scraped and um, it, it's just, it comes with it. The the type of motorhome or RV that you have, there's some that have more clearance than others. But most of the time, the longer you are, the most, the, the you need to make sure where you're going at, that it can accommodate your vehicle. And so you need to know the limitations of it, or you're going to be spending thousands of dollars in repairs. And we have already spent thousands and thousands of dollars on our units. And so we want to make sure where we go we take our time. Don't get into a big rush. And so I'm going to tell you right now, we walked it. I saw it. And from the years of experience, guys, I'm telling you right now, you want to avoid Louisiana, Louisiana Avenue coming down and making that right at 112, 113. It is just too darn steep. Yep. And so you run the chance on scraping. And so come down Carolina Avenue, come that way. Mm -hmm. Easy. It's, it's steep. But you won't, you won't, you won't scrape anything going coming that way. But um, they do have a, a fishing lake, great big old pond there, and um, it's it's just gorgeous and beautiful. Um, I'm, they do allow you to fish, but there's no boat and no swimming. And we saw lots of signs that said, uh, "Beware of snakes." And so, uh, but um, they have. that's an issue. Yeah. It, I guess in the summertime, you just want to, you know, you're, you're in the wooded area. And so, uh, but uh, now if you'll notice, if you'll notice right in front, well, you are where we're at, um, on site 24, you're right at the road. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right at the road. So, um, this campground is right off the main road. So you are going to hear traffic. If you are parking or camping anywhere near, um, the front of the, uh, uh, campground, you're going to hear the traffic guys. It's just the way it is. And we heard it. Um, as long as the traffic was going, we could hear it. Trucks honking, all types of stuff. You're going to hear it. Um, but at any rate, uh, going back, um, trying to, rem uh, the bathrooms, yeah. the bathrooms that we were in and they got several kind of peppered through here. Um, the bathrooms were nice, very well kept. Um, the showers looked to be in real nice condition. Um, we didn't use them. We have um, facilities um, in our unit here, and uh, but we did check them out, and they're very nice. And I'm going to tell you right now, there was a sign. Mm -hmm. There was a sign that I saw. They have it on every stall in the bathroom that I saw. Yeah, if is. they catch you smoking, if they catch you smoking in these bathrooms, they will kick you out of the campground completely. That's how serious they are about smoking. And so, uh, just a, a heads up for you guys that smoke. And so, uh, but you know, that's what gets me, you know, if the, if the rules are there for a specific reason. And so, uh, you know, those folks that want to just push that limit, mm -hmm. they are evidently, they've had some issues yeah. with it. And they said that if they, that sign did say that if they catch you smoking immediately you are kicked off the campground. Yep. And so they're not playing around. No, they have a no tolerance policy. They have an absolute no tolerance for it. And so, uh, but at any rate, um, the uh, uh, the camp, as far as the, the sites, they are pretty much close together. Um, but this place seems to be pretty well organized mm -hmm. um, that we saw. Um, going back to... Um, uh, the office, there is a lounge area. Mm -hmm. The lounge area, guys, is really nice. Mm -hmm. You can get coffee there. You can get there's your vending machine. There's a vending machines, and you can get packages delivered. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like that you can get mail here also. Yeah, they they, they have mailboxes outside. There were mailboxes outside, and I saw boxes inside from that had it had mail, and it had I don't I'm not really sure how they did it, but the the stacks of mail was in alphabetical order. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, to me, that's a little bit kind of pushing the line because what if somebody yeah. grabs somebody else's mail? But mm -hmm. it's all in alphabetical order. I don't want to say for sure that's what that yeah. was, but it 
It was in alphabetical order, and there were stacks of mail in there. There's also books and games and yeah. puzzles in the lounge. Yeah, and so that, that was really cool. Now, looking at this playhouse right here, we went into the game room and the snack bar, and they got pool tables in there mm -hmm. and um, old-style um, uh, um, arcade, game. arcade games. And the playhouse is huge. I mean, that sucker is big. And this, I think it's this weekend, they're having a pro wrestling, mm -hmm. um, a pro wrestling event, event uh, for the, uh, the, the folks out here. And, uh, but it's really nice, really nice, um, a really nice building. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like they're going to, you know, should have plenty of room for that. Um, There's also a separate rec, what is this called? Where is it? The clubhouse. The clubhouse. We were not able to get into that building, but there's also a separate yeah. clubhouse down here that we weren't able to get into. Couldn't get into that. That was locked up, which brings me to the next thing. Um, you have to have codes. Yeah. You have to have codes to get into the laundromat. Yes, the laundromat and the game room. And the the laundromat and the game room. You have to have a code. The laundromat was nice. Mm -hmm. The laundromat was very nice. It's Lots of uh, dryers and washers, and it costs... $1.50 for the wash, $1 for the dryer. Okay. All right. And they look, like I said, guys, look well, very well kept up. And um, there's... I only saw... Um, one area for dumping trash. Yes. And the dumpsters that's, are at the area where the... Right here. Right here. Where the laundromat is. You got the office. The you got the office. You just keep... You can either keep going straight or make a left. And right over here where these restrooms are at, that's where the garbage is. So it's kind of central, um, unless you're way over here. Um, it's kind of central. Um, and then they also... In the summertime, they have the pool. They have... The basketball court and tennis courts, which are right behind where we are. Yeah, yeah. Well, you won't be able to see them, um, and so and then there's a putt putt. Yeah, they got. Yeah, that's right. They do have a putt putt course, and um, that's over here. If you're looking at the office here, it's over here, um, just right in front of the um, the office where mm -hmm. it says carpet, carpet golf. You can is where they it. say you it. You may can see it out the window right here, Donnie. Uh, can nope, can't okay. see it. Okay. Can't see it, and so. Um, also, if you're here after, if you come after hours and you don't have your reservation, or if you do have a reservation, you come after hours and the office is closed, and you can't use your, you can won't have a key card. You're supposed to park in one of these open spots out here in the front. Oh, is that what that is? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there are people camping here also, but they said just to, the sign at the office says if you come after hours to pick one of these open spots and wait until the next morning when the office opens up. Okay. Well, guys, it's been a pretty lengthy video, yep. but. You know, I will say this. This is probably one of the biggest campgrounds yes. we've been in. Yes. Um, this like I said, it's so many sections. It's like separate campgrounds. It's like a campground within another campground. Another, Yeah. It was it's really big. Lot. And what I, I will say this is um, a lot of the spots appear to be very level. It's mm -hmm. all gravel. For the yeah. most part, you're looking at mostly just gravel. Um, and it's well taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, if if it was me, um, I was mentioning it to Sandra that I would come to something like this if there was like a festival in the area, maybe a surrounding county that didn't have a campground or something like that. I would come here mm -hmm. and let and this it is a be. Very, it's a very central location. You're close to Charlotte. You're close to Mooresville. It's a very good central location. Yeah, I would definitely use this as like a base camp and to wherever you're going. And so, uh, but other than that, we hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we, you know, check it out. I mean, I, hey, we give it two thumbs up. Yep. I mean, it's, it's definitely, um, I, I think they, for the size of this campground, they really got it going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, they really appear to be doing a, a fantastic job. Yeah. And so, uh, but other than that, you guys take care. Safe travels. We love you. Mm -hmm. We hope the Lord blesses you real good. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.